Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this Monday. And yes, there is snow on the vehicles. Like actual snow, not just frost. But calling for a high of 13 today. So that means that there's a warning out there to not forget your coat when you go somewhere. Because you're probably going to have your coat on when you leave the house in the morning. But then you are going to be taking it off and you're going to forget it somewhere. So just, yeah, don't do that. All right, here we go. Warning's been made and we're heading down to the beautiful river. And wow, look how high that river is today. Here we go. And the river looks to be another foot higher than where it was on Thursday. So that's a look at that. Remember uh, Thursday when we were down here? I was standing. Let's see if I can get this on video for you. I was standing right down there, right in front of that log, between like this is all grass, just a drop-down ledge here. I was standing right there at the bottom of that log on Thursday, and uh, well, it's a foot underwater now. So here we are. Alrighty. Well, let's get into the word. That's why we're here, right? Let's do this. All right. We're going to go to First Samuel. I trust you've been reading through the Bible. Uh, it's an incredibly good thing to do. If you haven't started yet, or if you started and stopped and you know what? Get back on. You don't have to get back on track to where we are right now. Um, you can start any day. And when you start, uh, if you go through a one-year Bible reading plan, that means it'll take you a year to read the Bible. And, uh, well, you start today, guess what? You'll be done a year from now. So that's fine. But please do it. It's really, really good for you and good for everybody around you because the more you read the the word the more the spirit speaks to you and the more you respond and the more you become like christ and the more you get to know christ it's a win for you if you read through the bible so take the time to do it and yes i've had to switch to another camera having problems with the other one battery problems so we're back to the other camera again okay. anyways first samuel chapter 15 and verse 9 let me just set it up for you real quick god has spoken to saul remember king saul saul and david yeah well saul's not the most obedient person in the world <laughs> kind of full of himself and uh isn't really that good at listening to god but he was kind of the people's choice and so God gave them what they wanted and let them learn their lesson. Saul, told by the Lord to go and destroy the enemy, the one that has been a pain to Israel, the one that was uh, not kind to Israel, the one that uh, didn't do any favors to Israel, and the Lord told him to go in and destroy him. And instead, in verse 9, Saul decides to go in and destroy the weak and you know the, the the stuff that's not worth much anyways but he kept the best of the land for himself and he kept the king alive and that was directly against the command of the Lord directly here's the question for you and for me obviously what is it that in our pursuit of holiness, what is it that God has spoken to us about? And we have not fulfilled it. What is it that God told you to get rid of in your pursuit of holiness and yet you've decided that you'll get rid of 90% of it or maybe even 95% of it, but there's... There's that little bit that you've decided you want to hold on to. 
there's that little bit that you've decided, you know what, I just, I really want to uh, kind of hang on to that. I want to, uh, you know, that music, those old love letters, whatever it is. Maybe some friendships. What is it that you have decided to stash away? The Lord's told you to get rid of it. The Lord's told you to clean up. Those are enemies to you. Those are enemies to your holiness. Those are enemies to your righteousness. Those are enemies to your walk with God. And yet you have decided you're going to hold on to it. What is it? Time to get rid of it. Time to get rid of it in your pursuit of holiness. Please listen to the voice of the Spirit. So that you might walk in obedience and holiness. Not 99%, but all of you. He is worth it. You know that. Let's pray. Father, I pray the words of that song. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my precious Savior. I surrender all. That's all. It's everything, Lord. Because I want to know you more. Because I want to know you more. I do not want to know my sin. I do not want to know my enemies. I want to know you more. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, friends. Have a fantastic day today. God bless you. Bye-bye.